Welcome to stage three of task A. Getting right into it, right to the first obstacle, which is the sidewinder. Uh, competitors jump from one to another. There's four of them, and you only use one side. Though you can go to the back on the the final sidewinder there. Then they're on to the second obstacle, the globe grasper. Six jumps. They can use the pole for more uh, momentum if they need it. Though uh, this obstacle has been nerfed from uh, task A1 because it was a bit difficult than intended. And then it's the filler cling. Yes, it's actually named that. It was just an obstacle just to put in there. But it is run onto the wall, jump to the ledge there, and dismount so they don't go straight to the platform. And then it's the supernova cliffhanger. This obstacle took out Vase in the previous tournament. He was the only one to attempt it, and he failed the second section. This first section here, this is what I like to call the S part. As you know, it kind of looks like an S. And then right before the crazy cliffhanger transition is a large leap to it. Then only two jumps here to the small ledge for the second crazy cliffhanger transition. And after they get through two more jumps, they can finally dismount. And then they're onto the back half of the course, starting with the jumping rings. Might be called the jumping rings of jumping. Thanks for the name there, Sonic. Then there was supposed to be another obstacle here, but it was removed. Just to put a pipe there that leads into the sixth obstacle. The second to last now. It's trash in the jungle. This obstacle took out... Uh, Joey and Weapon Mat in the original tournament one, and it's unchanged, still difficult. And then they're on to the seventh and final obstacle. The I think it's called the jumping bars. Eight jumps that each get a uh, difficult, though there is a technique you can do on it, and there's the final jump right there. No time limit to beat these seven obstacles. Alright, let's get to it. Let's get to see the terrible camera work in its action. Right when it happened, our first out of two runners in stage three is the Tillifer. There you see him spawn in because I was on the spot. He didn't make it even last time. Now Waze has someone to watch to see uh, how this thing is. That's great. That was a good side of the who also just shot the first sidewinder. And it has begun. A little assault in stage 3. This first task is the sidewinder. This didn't cause uh, Vase too many troubles. Then you need a save jump that uh, last sidewinder and he dismounts out just the back. And there it is. You get to see my point of view. Like I said, terrible camera work. There's Vase in the background watching it. He's now onto the Globe Grasper. This has been nerfed, so it's easier than it was last time. Taking his time on it, no need to rush. And there's the menu for the third time. Now onto the filler cling, goes straight into it. Nicely done there, but now on to the Supernova Cliffhanger. This ended the tournament last time, so we'll see if Fellow can be the first to beat it. On to the S section. You can see there's a uh, long ledges, and then there's the smaller ones. The smaller ones are the hardest parts of the island. Fellow's doing well. Second to last section. Well, second to last ledge of this first section. Gets the gets the long leap without a seat. So now on to the crazy cliffhanger transition. He gets that. Now onto the second section. This is where Joey failed. Going down to this small ledge. But Petrillo lands it. He has now gone the furthest on this obstacle than uh, Vase did. And he gets the second crazy cliffhanger transition. On to the third and final part. 
and it's done. Trillo ends up the first to uh, defeat the Supernova Clip. Man. It's going on to the second half. The fifth half. The jumping rings. Still celebrating. You can full send it if you get the rhythm down, but he's going to get up higher on to the ring before transition. Which is the safer and uh, recommended to do with this obstacle. Going from the side to the middle to give himself the highest chance of landing. Looking to where he has to jump. And that's the final. Final ring, Frilla on to the second to last obstacle, cast in the jungle. This is the furthest anybody has gotten on this course thus far, just counting tournament one. Onto the red, and he has to go back onto the white. This is almost a mirror image of the butterfly wall, and they're stage one, but Trillo ends up undershooting it. That was a very strong effort there by Petrillo, but his run ends on Trust in the jungle. Though he got a sprint, it was a little later than he was supposed to. So he ended up shoot under shooting the next jump. As you see here, he gets up and starts to sprint for it. But it wasn't good enough. And he just barely undershoots getting to that white ledge. But this is now the furthest point anybody has gotten on this course. Now we're on to our final runner of the tournament, our last man standing for his second tournament in a row. It's Vaze. Last time out, he faced four of these obstacles, but that fourth obstacle was a supernova cliffhanger, which he failed. But we just saw Petrillo get through it, so maybe Vaze can as well, and maybe even get further than Petrillo did. He already handled the first obstacle pretty well. These first few obstacles he has already done, and he's handling them similar to how he did his first attempt. Now this is his second, and maybe he can get further. Taking a safe jump uh, as he lands on each ball. Though he usually gets the uh, momentum needed to get there just fine. But just a precaution in case he slips up. Goes straight for the filler cling like Petrillo did. He also lands it, and now... The obstacle that took him up before, the Supernova Cliffhanger. Straight into it, takes a save immediately. Now he got to this first section last time, but it was the second one that tripped him up in which he failed. Close there on that uh, fifth one, I think. Yep. That's the fifth ledge. Quickly on. Uh, from the 6th to the 7th, so now the 8th, which is the furthest jump, I think he got above the wall there, no save jump with quiet, so he took it just the time. The crazy cliffhanger transition, he gets that too, he also still didn't need to save jump, but he did so, just to stay safe, because that was the last save jump. That one was required, that's where he failed the last time, he's now gotten further than he has, which makes the third and final So that was the second But he beat the obstacle. Vase completes the supernova cliffhanger and he's now further than he has gone Next up, the jumping rings. Vase told me earlier that he honestly did not practice that much for this stage. But it's not looking like that this time as he's gone further. And having no trouble with the jumping rings. Now he's going to go on the top. Trillo just failed. Trashed in the jungle. Can Maze beat Trillo? He goes. He, he's further. He got to the white section. Now to the blue, which is harder. And he comes up short. That is it. The tournament is over. Vase 
ends up getting a bit further than Petrillo did. He got to the white ledge that Petrillo ended up failing, but when going for the blue one, he got a little bit too close to the pole. You're actually supposed to be a bit more down on the diamond section, but he wasn't able to get the distance, and that ends Tosuke 2 on stage 3. And as you see on your screen here, this is the top five placings in Tosuke 2. Vaze finishes in first due to getting one ledge further than uh, Petrillo did. Chumpy finishes in third place for uh, reaching the metal spin, while Fireball is in fourth due to failing a spider walk. And then in fifth, uh, further stage one failure, Crown Flare at 19, who, since he got a jump, to the second uh, ring on the brace slider, he gets a further result than Sonic Fan did. Now, Tournament 3 is already on. As soon as this video goes up, Tournament 3 will be on. I'll put the files up so you can practice if you want to. And uh, we'll see a better edited uh, Tournament 3 because I started figuring out how to do this in the later half of it. So, see you next time.